Okay, Ford, on this next scene, we're trying to teach personal safety issues. Okay. And in particular, we have to watch out for people wearing ties and things like that oh, because, yeah. uh, you know, you look great, but you normally don't want them because they can be caught into things, okay? Sure, sure. So as part of the demonstration, you see we're going to have this fan running right here on this power that supply. It seems dangerous. Right. So, okay, so I need you to do on this shtick, all right, is uh, I want you to wave the thing. And I'm going to say, oh, nice tie. All right, okay. that's going to be your cue. So you use a nice tie, and you wave it, but don't let it sink in there. You ready? Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, so you ready? Hey, nice tie. Thanks. Ah, oh, God. Turn it off. Turn it off. All right. When it comes to the A+, there's a lot of issues that have to deal with personal safety. What I want to do right now is take advantage of my friend Ford, maybe at this point more like employee Ford, and to actually go through some of the issues involved that have to deal with personal safety. And by personal safety, we're talking about protecting your body from evil things, okay? So first of all, could you go ahead and uh, turn this system on for me real quick? Whoa, 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 be careful there, buddy. One of the big issues you have to watch out for when it comes to wearing things like ties is that it's really, really easy to get a tie caught into fans or anything else. I actually have a couple of ties right at the bottom. It's got a nice little fuzzball for me doing exactly that type of thing. So do me a favor. Do you mind taking the tie off? Sure thing, Mike. Okay. Now, <laughs> you're so suave. So the other big issue we have to watch out for is that you can see we've got a running system here, okay? And for a little testing like we're doing right now, it's no big deal. Uh, but if I want to start swapping out cards or installing anything in, pretty much any time I'm actually m unplugging or plugging things in, the big thing we need to do is shut the system off. So according to the a exams, it says to unplug the system. So let's go ahead and just, just unplug it straight off. We're not, we don't, we're not booting or anything. Go ahead and unplug it. Let her drop. Okay. So for CompTIA, be sure to unplug the system. However, in the real world, Pretty much all power supplies have a big on-off switch, which does just as good of a job of separating you from the potential of getting household electricity going through your young person, which we don't want to have happen. I, don't, I sure don't, Mike. Okay, so are you feeling good right now? I'm feeling great, feeling Mike. Feeling strong? Like an eagle. Okay, good, because the next thing you're going to have to do is I got a bunch of heavy boxes that I need you to haul in from the street and uh, bring over here, okay? Sure thing, Kimasabi. Fantastic. Let's talk about lifting. When it comes to being a PC technician, remember the most important thing. We're not bodybuilders, we're computer nerds. And as a result of that, you're not expected to be able to lift big, heavy packages. So in most jobs, when you actually get the job itself, it specifies very clearly the amount of weight you're expected to lift. In the PC world, 25 pounds, 35 pounds isn't at all uncommon. So when you find yourself in a situation where you're having something heavy to lift, remember the basics. Number one, Lift with your knees, not with your back. Secondly, if you need help, ask somebody. It's a lot cheaper for me to have two of you guys lifting a large box than it is for me to pay for your workman's compensation because you've got a sore back. Last, always remember, there's hand trucks and other devices out there designed to make lifting easier. So, when it comes to lifting, remember, use common sense, lift with your knees and not with your back, get help, and whenever you need to, use a hand truck.